this video, we will learn everything about The Butcher's Wife, one of Amy Moore movies, that you've probably never heard about. So get the popcorn and a drink of your choice ready. The show is about to begin. In The Butcher's Wife, Marina, played by Demi Moore, who is clairvoyant, meets New York City butcher Leo, who is visiting her small town in North Carolina. When she then dreams about him, she believes it is a sign, that he is her true love. She marries Leo and moves to his working-class neighborhood in New York City. There she meets his quirky neighbors, including Shy Singer played by Mary Steenburgen, and a psychiatrist Alex, played by Jeff Daniels. Soon Marina begins to wonder, if she was wrong about her soul mate. The Butcher's Wife is a whimsical, heartwarming romantic fantasy. When the movie was first announced, actors Meg Ryan and Kevin Kline were in the lead roles. When Kevin Kline dropped out, Dennis Quaid had been considered as a replacement for Kline, but was reportedly deemed unsuitable, for the role that ultimately went to Jeff Daniels. British actor, Bob Hoskins was in negotiations for another role, which presumably was the role of Marina's husband, who was ultimately played by George Zunza. Butcher's Wife was filmed on the studio backlot, which was set up to resemble a New York City street. For the winter sequence, leaves were stripped from artificial trees and covered with flocking, while the backlot was covered with shaved ice to simulate snow. With the exception of the butcher shop set, interiors were shot primarily on Paramount sound stages, as were the rooftop sequences. The movie opened in October, 1990 on just 800 screens. Reviews from the critics were mixed. Butcher's Wife was a commercial failure, grossing only $9 million at the box office. According to her 2019 memoir, Inside Out, Demi Moore regretted starring in the film, saying she only did it to increase her salary after the success of Ghost. Demi Moore earned $750,000 for Ghost, but she made $2.5 million for The Butcher's Wife.